larger now. Have you noticed something, Vienna? Eh? Not a sound. We're all alone. There's no doubt about it. There's been a definite decline in my popularity this year. Here we are, Boxing Day. Not one invitation to share the flowing bowl. Not one request for my company around the piano. Can't even find anyone to pull me cracker. <laughs> You're not bothered, are you? Eh? Oh, just another day to you, isn't it, eh? Just another day. <laughs> another meal, another hole in the flower bed. <laughs> oh, God, he's here now. Well, he's not getting the Christmas box, I'll tell you. Christmas, Mr. Rigsby. Uh, Just popped in to wish you the compliments of the season. Oh, yes. I thought you might have uh, missed me this week, you know. It would have been difficult that we have been rattling those bottles. <laughs> Oh, you did hear me, didn't I? Mm. Right. Uh, uh, just, just, just tell me, uh, what about my double cream? We've run out. <laughs> We've had a very big demand this Christmas. Uh, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to put on my pineapple chunks? Oh, well. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, mate. No, no, sorry. It's just because you had in a Christmas box, isn't it? I suppose it's what they call the Milkman's Revenge, eh? Two bottles of dirty water. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I'm set up. Sorry, I'm not. Don't ask much from that. I thought it could depend on my double cream. Yeah, but it's the first time, innit? I've never let you down before, have I, eh? You've never, I've... We've never had the right milk since you came back from the Costa Brava. <laughs> Flashing your suntan, singing Viva a Spaniard at six in the morning. <laughs> oh, I, I, I very nearly complained to the dead, he'll tell you that. Oh, I see, I see. I suppose you think milkman shouldn't go to the Costa Brava, eh? It shouldn't, it gives him ideas. Get an attack of the manianas and start forgetting the double cream. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, eh, eh, you know what you become, don't you, eh? eh? A lotus eater. I've never touched the stuff. No. no. <laughs> Food? No, you've become what they call a pleasure seeker. I've seen your van standing outside Mrs Bailey's all morning. <laughs> what are you getting at? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. We haven't missed it. The council have been waiting three months to sweep that gutter. <laughs> I've never had any complaints anyway. I'm sure you haven't. Not from Mrs Bailey anyway. <laughs> I noticed she's been getting her curlers out very early these mornings. Oh, I should have known better. I shouldn't have come in here. I knew I'd get insulted. No wonder you're spending Christmas on your own rigs. As a matter of fact, I prefer spending Christmas on my own. I happen to believe this is a religious festival, all right? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Quite happy here, away from all the greed and hypocrisy. <laughs> and I happen to think Christmas is far too commercial these days. <laughs> Not around here, it isn't, mate. Oh, all right. Here we are. Here. I suppose we'll never near the end of it if you don't have a say. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Look at that. Are you sure you're going to fold this? Well, you can always give it back if you feel insulted, can't oh, you? No, Rigsby, I'm going to keep this. I'll put it on my watch chain. <laughs> yes, I should do, Fabio. You might help you to remember the double cream. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Scrooge. Same to you, Speedy Gonzales. <laughs> God, I know what they're coming to these days. Oh, yes, now I'm sorry. No double cream for you, mate. There's no good flexing your claws now. You should have tried them on them while he was here. <laughs> oh, God, what a Christmas. That mistletoe was a waste of money. I don't see Sophie Loren dropping in for Ottomans Pie this day. Mr. Rigsby. Uh, yes, that's right, yes. I simply had to pop in with this. I think it's a Christmas card. Well, what's so unusual about that? After all, it is Christmas. Yes, but... Yes, I'll put it with all the others that have deluged upon me this festive season. Thank you. There aren't any cards, are there? You see, I pass this house every day. I couldn't help noticing. I've seen your face pressed up against the window, and I long to bring you a card. That's why I was so delighted when that one turned up. Have you been drinking? No, <laughs> certainly not. Well, it is rather unusual to get a delivery by hand these days. I thought perhaps you couldn't find the letterbox. I don't drink, Mr. Rigsby. Not when I'm riding my bicycle. Oh, well, this is boxing there. I thought you might have had the odd stirrup cup. <laughs> After all, your manner is slightly strange. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. As a matter of fact, there's a perfectly logical explanation why I haven't had any cards this year. I told everyone I was spending Christmas with my brother. Probably sent the cards on there. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't send the cards back. You don't know my brother. <laughs> I'll be working on them with an ink rubber right now. Use them next year. <laughs> yes, it's the same when we were kids. You'd have the silver paper off your tangerine before you could say knife. So you're all alone? Yes, yes. What about your tenants? Oh, they're all away for Christmas. Still, I don't care. I don't want them here steaming the place out with the Christmas puddings. They're not bothered about me anyway. They wouldn't give me a second thought, one of them. Ah, I think that's very sad. Why don't you have a drink while you're here, Miss... Um, oh, Miss... Uh, Gwen. Gwen, oh, that's a nice name. Uh, no, it? no, thank you. I am on duty. Oh, I'm sure the Postmaster General won't mind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you married, Gwen? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
suppose you never had the time, eh? Out in all weathers, you know, <laughs> fighting your way through snow drifts, eh? <laughs> Still, I must say, it's, uh, it's done wonders for your complexion, eh? <laughs> Certainly brought the roses to your cheek. Oh, thank you, Mr. Rigsby. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness me. What? <laughs> oh, we appear to be standing under the mistletoe, look. Are we? You can't quarrel with fate, eh? But, Mr. Rigsby, I'm in uniform. It's all right, I don't mind. It's all right. But, Mr. Rigsby, please. You're tampering with the Royal Mail. <laughs> That's a criminal offence. Oh, it's luck, that is it. Well, I am on duty. Uh -huh. well, would you excuse me? I'd just like to read my correspondence. Thank yes. you. Yes. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's all right, no skill up my nose. Could have been your lucky day, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Rigsby. Yes, yes. Oh, and Happy New Year. Yes, yes, Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, you solitary, miserable cat. All the best, Rigsby. <laughs> Happy Christmas and a pr 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 Oh god, my writing's getting worse than ever. <laughs> Hello, Brenda. Hello at last. What about Rigsby? No, he's spending Christmas with his brother. <laughs> Can you imagine them two together, eh? Setting the dogs on the Salvation Army. <laughs> Eating pennies up with carol singers. Oh, what a Christmas. What about our Christmas? That wasn't so hot. What do you mean? Well, I spent most of it rolling balls of wool. Your mother doesn't like me, does she? She's just got to get used to you, that's all. You know what mothers are like. Yeah, I know what your mother's like. She spoils you. I wouldn't say that. Then why does she blow on your potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't. Well, only when they're hot. You're going to get a shock when you get married. Ah, well, no, no, I, I wouldn't expect you to blow on me potatoes. <laughs> See, the trouble is with mother, she's a, a little bit jealous. Yeah, I suppose that's why she looped all that wool round my hands, in case I made a lightning attack on you. <laughs> uh, well, look, uh, we're all on our own now. Um, there's no one to disturb us. Why don't you uh, slip into something more comfortable? You must be joking. It's freezing in here. I'm going to have a bath and get warm. Hey, that's a good idea. Shall I bring me a loofah? No, <laughs> thanks. Hey, look, uh, you go and have your bath, and uh, I'll nip down to Rigsby's room, borrow his fire, and bring it up here, warm the room up a bit. Oh. Will it be all right? Of course. I told you he's spending Christmas with his brother. I wouldn't bring you back here if he'd have been here, would I? He's got this mistletoe. He sits under it like a praying mantis. No one's... <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Well, see you later. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, I'll bring down the uh, bath salts that I bought you for Christmas and uh, pop in and uh, scrub your back. <laughs> Blimey. Everybody must have bought a bath salts for Christmas. <laughs> I see we're in for an undisturbed night of bliss. <laughs> Yes. Which <laughs> bit? Do you think it was the ghost of Christmas past? <laughs> I thought you were spending Christmas with your brother. Well, I'm not. I thought you were spending Christmas with your parents. But, well, I'm not. <laughs> You're all on your own? Yeah. What, well, Christmas time? Yeah, what difference does that make? It's the same as any other time. Except everyone's on the scrounge. Yeah, he's already had the movement. He'll be the newspaper boy next. But he's due for the shock, I'll tell you. Who is it now, that front gate? Eh? Martin Borman lives here. <laughs> He won't be getting anything for a start, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Look, Rigsby, um, you, you can't go on like this. They will think Martin Borman lives here. Uh, you're becoming a recluse. Yeah. You ought to get out, get some fresh air. You ought to get out and about and do something. Just, just because it's Christmas, it, it, it's a big fiddle. I don't believe in it. Well, what have you got the mistletoe for? Well, that's traditional old habits die hard. <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me. Hey, you've even got a cracker. Well, just happened to find it lying around. <laughs> Shall we pull it? Can if you like. <laughs> Oh, I hate it when they get banged, don't you? <laughs> Beginning to tense up, eh? Anyone can see you've never been under fire. <laughs> so you got the big end. Hey! That's my cracker. Yeah, you can have the paper out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you really mean you are. You don't change, do you, even at Christmas time? Well, nobody asked you to come down and see me. What did you want, anyway? What did you come down and see me for? Hey, hey, yes, hey, hey, just a minute. You thought I was away. What, what did you come in here for, eh? Uh, well, well I, I just popped in to, um... Yeah? To uh, what? To, uh, leave your present. <laughs> present? You built me a present? Yeah. Where is it? There. Oh, yeah. Bath salts? <laughs> Captain Violets. Are you trying to be funny? I know it's not much, but it's a thought that counts. It's a thought that worries me. Are you suggesting I'm lacking in personal freshness? You have a bath every Friday, I know that. Every Friday, whether I need it or not. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to take this attitude. Shouldn't have bothered. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry, Alan. It, it, it's me. I'm... It's been so long since anybody... Here, have a mince pie. I'm sorry. <laughs> here, here, have a drink. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. It's, it's no fun in Christmas on your own. I realised that yesterday after dinner. 
No one to pull the wishbone with. Look, I had to do it on your own. At least it's got the wish. <laughs> Hasn't come true, though, has it? Unless you've seen a new bile young female floating round the flimsy negligent. <laughs> yes. What are you looking so pleased about? <laughs> hey, you're not going up there, are you? No, I'm not. It's what I wished for. <laughs> hey, hey, it's never worked before. There must be all those hormones that keep feeding them. <laughs> but it's just a coincidence. You don't think Father Christmas sent it, do you? Well, I did want something warm for winter. It certainly beats string back gloves and a chunky sweater. <laughs> They just decided to come home early, that's all. I mean, she hadn't just stepped off a train from Toy Town. I don't know, but why did she decide to come home early? Because she's been missing me. <laughs> missing you? Yes, of course she's missed the excitement. Well, you know how it is with me and women. It's the old animal magnetism again. <laughs> the animal magnetism hasn't done you much good so far, has it? How is this? Different, you see. This is Christmas. It's a time when a woman needs a man. When they, when they start getting emotional, they start lowering their defences now. Oh, it is just like VJ night all over again. VJ <laughs> night? Yeah, well, not, uh, Japan wasn't the only one that surrendered that night, though, okay. <laughs> Marvellous that night. All the way, it was dancing in the streets, fireworks erupting against the night skies, and the free world was celebrating the victory for democracy. How'd right? you get on? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, not too good, actually, no. no. <laughs> a bit too near the fireworks, got a rocket up in battle dress. <laughs> You're not too lucky where women are concerned, are you? Well, I don't know. She came down in that nightdress. Wasn't a bottle of loaf of bread. <laughs> she thought it was going to be it on me own. Anyway, she promised me a kiss for Christmas. When was that? When I, when I unblocked her drains. That was last July. Yes, I just missed. She remembers, though. A promise is a promise. What I'll do, I'll invite her down for a few drinks, promote the festive spirit, get her under the mistletoe. Bob's your uncle. Hey, uh, Rigsby, hmm? uh, what about me? You can blow up a few balloons. <laughs> You wanted to see me, Brenda? Oh, yeah. I just got down to see what sort of Christmas you'd had, Rigsby. Oh, oh, yes. oh all right. You know, I was on my own, you know, except for Vienna. I think he's got the mange. I <laughs> thought you were staying at your brother's. No, no, I just told everybody that. It was out of pride, really. No, he didn't want me. We had a row over a drumstick last year. <laughs> over a drumstick? Yeah. Wasn't that a bit trivial? Well, he didn't think so. I hit him with it. <laughs> no, I must say what I missed this Christmas. Uh, Brenda was the, uh, the warmth of female companionship, you know. <laughs> Sitting downstairs, I realised there was no one to crack me nuts for. Yeah. <laughs> no fun in getting a whole one out, and there's no female palm to drop it into, eh? No, I suppose not. So I was wondering if you'd like to come down um, for, a, for a drink. Oh, oh, yeah, that'd be all right. Well, as you know, I tried to be more than just uh, just a landlord to everyone. Yeah, I know. I haven't forgotten the way you unblocked my drains. I, I did remember. I, so you remember your promise, then, in that case? Yes, I knew you were grateful at the time, Brenda. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll remember. Well, it's Christmas time now, Brenda. Yeah, yeah, no, I've got your surprise. Yes, and I think I know what it is. Shut your eyes. <laughs> oh, all right. I didn't know you were shy. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas present. Oh. <laughs> bath salts? Yeah, yeah, I couldn't think of what to get you, and then I thought of uh, bath salts. Oh, all right, thank you. Yes. Devon, Devon violets. Devon violets, yes, I thought they might be. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, 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 very, uh, very, very popular, I believe. <laughs> Affit, is he back? Yeah, been away. Oh no. I thought you were staying with friends. I thought you were staying with friends. That's why I arranged to come back early. I'm meeting this girl here. <laughs> what, you're planning on a dirty weekend, were you? I wish you wouldn't use that phrase, Adam. <laughs> Sorry, I just assumed that Well, you don't. Were... I have a great regard for this girl. Lucy and I are very fond of each other. I respect her. Uh, mind you, if our feelings do prove too strong for each other... Then you'll have a dirty weekend. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble is, she hasn't booked in anyone. I promised her that vacant room. Rigsby won't like that. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps if I asked him. After all, it is Christmas. What's that got to do with it? Look. Two thousand years ago, Jesus was born in a stable because there was no room at the inn. She's not having a baby, is she? <laughs> no, she's not. If Rigsby had been the landlord then, she wouldn't have even got in the stable. <laughs> you see. Where is he now? He's up seeing Brenda, wants to get her under the mistletoe. Do you think he'll succeed? Yeah, he has no luck with women. Rigsby played Bryman's buff in Ari, he'd end up with a eunuch. <laughs> He'll be more miserable when he gets back. Never mind. <laughs> this should mellow him. What's that? Oh, a present for Rigsby, our national wine. 
<laughs> what? The old jungle juice? Yeah. <laughs> Is it strong? <laughs> <laughs> they drink this before they undergo the most painful process of body decoration. Nice, it paralyzes the nerve, does it? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It burns the throat so much they can't scream. Oh. <laughs> Would you feel great afterwards? Well, I better get cleaned up. She'll be here soon. Hello, Rigsby. All right, you're back, eh? What's the matter, Rigsby? You look fed up. Well, so would you if you spent Christmas on your own. Oh, never mind, Rigsby. I brought you a present. Oh, thank you. Have you? Yes. It's not bath sauce, Benny Jant, is it? <laughs> no. There's one or two people have been dropping rather broad hints about my personal freshness around here. You've got nothing to worry about there, Rigsby. You have the faintest aroma of Devon violets. Oh, how surprising. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, you must be, uh, Lucy. Yes. Oh, I, uh, I, I didn't realise you were going to, um, I, I, I didn't think you were going to be, uh, uh so early. Uh, <laughs> I'm Alan. I thought so. Philip often talks about you. Oh, does he? What's he say? He says you wear curlers in bed. <laughs> what you do? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm blowing up balloons. I'm not very good at it, really. I keep getting a mouthful of carbon dioxide. <laughs> and why do you do it? No, I don't know. I... Oh, well, it, it, it is, in actual fact, uh, one of our customs. Uh, I don't suppose you get this sort of thing in Africa. Oh, I wouldn't know. I come from Northampton. <laughs> <laughs> Has Philip managed to get the room? Ah, oh, uh, well, he is seeing uh, Rigsby at the moment. Oh, he said it'd be all right. Did he? Oh, well, uh, Rigsby's a bit odd. You know, shouldn't uh, raise your hopes too high. <laughs> Why not? Well, he doesn't like Peter. Um, <laughs> he, he's not very keen on... Uh, on what? On uh, people from Northampton. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll, uh, I'll go and find Philip. Where is my present? It's in your room. Well, what is his shirt? Is no, it? no, 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 no. It's a, a book. surprise. No, 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 no. Well, where is it? It's in your room. Come oh, on. All right, all right. <laughs> Well, you know they say it's the thought that counts. Oh, it's a lovely thought. Are you sure you won't have any uh, regret it? Oh, no, no. My father sent me half a dozen. <laughs> you haven't got them here, have you? Oh, no, no. I shared them with friends over Christmas. I found they helped to get the party going. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, um, by the way, you might find it a bit fiery to start with, but yeah. you'll soon get used to it. Yeah. And it'll make you feel great after. Oh, all right. <laughs> Thanks very much. I better get back. Oh, Rizky, by the way. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Warm enough for you. I can put another bar on if you... No, that's perfectly all right. Uh, uh, have you seen Philip? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> put me in the picture. <laughs> do, you, do you want a drink? No, thank you. Uh, uh, against your religion, is it? What? I must say you speak English very well. well. Why shouldn't I? Yes, yes, why not? After all, the English language is our legacy to the world. Yes, but you speak like a native. <laughs> oh, when I say native, I mean, you know... <laughs> yes, I think... Uh, I think you'll find things pretty easy round here. Will I? <laughs> yes, there's no walking for miles with a pot on your head, any of that sort of thing. Water? Good <laughs> taxi! Isn't that one? Yes, yes, save me the washing, no need to hump it down to the river. No. We've got, um, we got a laundress just round the. Uh, just a la laundress. Really, really, really. Just round the corner. <laughs> You mean I won't have to pound away on all those smooth stones? No, no. <laughs> I, I, I think you'll like it here. You'll have a room of your own, and I, and I will, of course, treat you as an equal. No need to call me Guana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, we can be quite informal. Huh? How informal? Well, well, for example, when we go down to Tesco, there's no need to walk ten paces behind her. <laughs> Now, Tesco's, you see, yes, now that's, that's like your marketplace, you see, uh, rich in colour uh, and full of the sound of strange voices. <laughs> you know, but it's all right, I shall carry the baskets. I must insist on at least two days off a week. Oh, just my luck, six of them, I get the shop steward. <laughs> 
Well, this is so new to me, I'm afraid, to make mistakes. Oh, don't, worry, don't worry about making mistakes. Now, we may appear sophisticated, but underneath we're just the same as you. The same strange beliefs and, and, and customs. Well, look, look, so, uh, take for example that, uh, that mistletoe there, the sacred bough. Now, uh, do you know what that is for us? No. That's the fertility symbol. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, that's been placed there by the Archdruid. <laughs> now, the, uh, <laughs> the custom is that the younger maidens of the village gather under it, and our kids gather under it, yes, and, uh, and are kissed by the elder. Who's the elder? I am. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you might be. And then what happens? We get a good harvest next year. Ah, there you are, Lucy. I've been looking for you. I didn't know you were here. And under the mistletoe. Hey, it's a custom. Do you think you're doing it? It's the custom, Rigsby. It's, it's our custom, not yours. Get off. Uh, Rigsby, why didn't you open your present? I was trying to do that when you came in. <laughs> Allow me. Oh, uh, oh so see, is, is that... Uh, oh, <laughs> I saw... Oh, oh, cheers, I... Oh! <laughs> No, this is jungle juice. <laughs> How do you feel now? All oh, right, except the lime. My throat's gone. <laughs> That's done it. You won't get the room now. Oh, well, Mr. Rigsby's already offered me oh, the room. Now, just a minute. Oh, oh, it's a real Christmas spirit, Matt. Come on, Lucy, I'll show you your You know, Rigsby, perhaps I misjudged you. I always, you're not so bad. Well, I, well, I said you cut the room. It proves one thing, Rigsby. You can't possibly be Martin Ball. That's coming down from the start. Yes, who is it? Mr. Rigsby. Yes, what you want? It's about this afternoon. I realise that I may have seemed, well, I don't know, prudish and lacking in the Christmas spirit. That I may have hurt your feelings. Oh, you didn't know my feelings, don't worry. Well, um, I'm out of uniform now, Mr. Rigsby. Mm, 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 mm. Mr. Rigsby, yeah. I'm standing under the mistletoe. Mm, mm, mm. Come on! Well, hey! Hey! Oh, You're standing in there! Thanks to you, devil! That's the third time hey, you've Hey, minute, have you forgotten me? Yeah. Of course not, Rigsby. Here's your double cream. Oh, <laughs>